Lost off. <laughs> oh, everyone, and welcome aboard. That'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with. Peace and much, Lieutenant Rukir, at your service. And welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker, which, well, we'll be continuing on with. Though. The, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I think last time we played this, we said that if need be, we would. Uh, I can't. Okay, it wasn't reacting for some reason. Uh. If need be, I'll do some small stuff off screen with this if there becomes too big of a gap between the story progression bits, which are mostly react, uh, <clears throat> mostly aligned or seem to be mostly aligned with the uh, the leveling system. But we should be close to another level anyway, so close enough to get it in this stream. Hmm. Let's see, anything new? Nothing new. Okay, now, can we add anything on? Let's see. Let's see, I'll probably take a moment at some point to read through some of these, though we have read quite a few already. Uh, mm -hmm. Focus, focus is the gecko, the lightest invasion. Okay, it's about the big ass ship. Anything new here? Hi, it looks like you're trying to operate. Like help with that? Let's see, a distributor, which can be found in waste disposal units. Okay, we'll have to destroy one of those then. And I think so far they they only appear in geckos. Let's do a double check of the equipment. Everything is looking good. And so let's start the shift then. <clears throat> yeah, last time we tore up. <laughs> or no, we wait. Did we start with this one or? Oh, right, I, rem I remember now. Uh, I ended up going into the processor because, well, <laughs> just a, the, the, outer, the outer hole decided to just pop off like a banana and send like a good chunk towards the processor, which I did manage to stop, but not stop myself from head heading in there. Uh, let's see. And yeah, I have upgraded the strength on the grapple a lot, so that should make it a lot easier to move stuff and to move my to pull myself out of the processor for future incidents. Oh, yeah. This I remember we did that before we end the steam, and also I just thought of something terrifying. Hmm. You 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 ended up in the processor, correct? Yep. Did they use the processed material of you to clone you? Uh, not that, probably. They, they've got backups elsewhere, I presume. Okay. Oh yeah, we, we, we were not finished with this one, indeed. Uh, oh wait, no, it's a new one. Uh, this is the same one as last time, it's just that... <laughs> We managed to not have it run into there. So yeah, let's try and pull this thing out. I still have no clue as to why it just popped off after we cut a single point. Okay, I think I remember now. And it is slowly but surely going. Let's see, there's a lot of furnace materials on this thing as well. Oh, no, not yeah, okay, that many. Now remember, yeah. We started on this one after almost spending two hours on another one. Yep. Okay. Should be safe to cut that part free now, but I think I'll let it be just a bit more. Just to be absolutely certain that's... Well, not all of that ends up in the processor. Okay. Yeah, we... <laughs> this, this thing is cer most certainly been depressurized now. So let's work on some of the outside stuff. And then we go check in if anything else needs to be done inside. Oh, okay. Utility arms. Okay. 
Oh, we aren't that close to a certification as I thought. We are. We still need 402 points for that. Okay. Oh, that's hmm. a little cargo. Yeah, well, it is a cargo vessel. But that should also mean that's a lot of points for us to get through all of this. Okay. Engines. Three as usual on a gecko. And nothing else on the outside of this of too much interest, I believe, other than, well, the airlocks, which are both open. Yep. Okay, that means that we can pull these off. Okay. Might as well, as we are hovering here anyways. Now, how is the situation with the reactor looking? Just actually right over here. Okay. Uncertain. <laughs> okay, I remember these. With some reactors, they have a console connected to them. And you should be able to find, like, a set of keys or something that you can use to safely shut it down or something. We haven't found any of those in quite a while, or, like, any since we started streaming this game again. So... Wait, I'm, will, do you want a console to uh, a power generator normally? Hmm. And they would want the console to keep an eye on the... <laughs> on the... on the, uh, reactor at the absolute least. <clears throat> oh, hello. I'll grab you. Wait, is that what we needed? No, we needed a, we need a distributor. Okay. That's one. There is still a very small chance that something goes wrong even when you use these ejection switches. But I think it's like in the single digits percentage. But even that is still just a chance for something to blow up. Hmm. I hope expected for it to happen there. Now you have to always be ready for that it might happen. Now where is the and coolant was... system? Okay, that now I remember. For some I, reason I the airlocks are next to the reactor and the coolant system is all the way over here. Okay, a bit weird. But yeah, I feel like that has been meant to explain something you should be absolutely careful of. Boom! Yep. And yeah, that's what I was tensing up about. I was like, oh, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. But he explains it, it's gonna mess up. <laughs> now, is there anything? Some circuitry? Anything else around here? Oh. It is the most wait, easiest wait, wait, to wait, find wait, those wait. keys. Is that a no, we... I don't think you'll want water bo a water bottle that's been floating around like this <laughs> for who knows how long. It probably has more of a culture than some countries. Uh, a bacteria culture, that is. <laughs> if you could see my face right now... <laughs> I'll have to do with imagining. I'm squinting. You know, even you squint your eyes in a huh? Yep. Yeah. So why are just these massive pieces just popping off with a single? <laughs> okay. At the very least, this thing is too wide to go into the processor. I think. Yeah, but at the same time, do, do, do you know what I smell currently? What? Ooh, armor plates. Someone doing sheet in the labor work here. <laughs> oh, but hey, wait, 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 what is actually called when you, uh, you are most likely illegally taking shortcuts when you are building a building or a machine? Mm. Not too sure of what it specifically would be called. But yeah, it, yeah, it would be very much illegal because uh, maybe a sort of fraud or such. Yeah, like I know this Swedish hmm. term for one of them, Fusk Bjare, sheet builders. 
These are extremely illegal in Sweden. We don't have many of them here, but when they do happen, they will be tracked down. Yeah, once they have because it's putting everything at risk. Yeah, even if it has been years of port and the cop is long up, they will hunt them down. It's... We are lucky in that most of that chunk is all processor. Like, may maybe I'm guessing that some of the connection points have already been broken or something. But beyond that, also that thing that lasted a long ass time. Now, can we just pull you headfirst into the processor? Yes, it is slowly moving. Speaking of slowly Nothing moving, let's go pull that thing off. Nothing else to remove from that? Nothing else, that, or at least that I spotted. I, did, I looked all over it like you could see, and I didn't see the processor turn to um, barge or furnace at any point. Which is, well, not the case here. Gee. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Salvaging this thing is going to be a bit janky, it seems, because some th objects clearly just do not want to be associated with each other at all. Okay. Now, stay, uh, stay very clear of the processor. Anything else on this thing? There's no crane on it. But there are these aluminium panels. 50, you know, 57k, a decent amount. Hmm. Let's cut this thing in some more manageable chunks. And that'll be one step towards solving this jigsaw puzzle. And try not to cut too many things. Never mind. Okay, at least it didn't count as something being destroyed or not enough of value being destroyed. Oh dear. I'm glad he has realized. If you. Oh, oh. Are low. Fuel are available for purchase at the Master Jack. We have fuel? Yeah. We. we, we oh, yeah. The, uh, the oxygen generate. The oxygen uh, depletion has been turned off, but fuel not. Uh, all right. But yeah. I imagine doing these kind of uh, sheet in uh, uh, shipbuilding, like spaceships. Yeah. To the 9, Thank you for oh. Yeah, that is just. That, that probably a lot of jail time. Yep. Okay. Since, well, you're putting many lives at potentially at risk. And if your failure causes just an a, a catastrophic failure in something else, well, that is <laughs> that is going to be potentially lifetime sentences, if not outright death. Uh, see any more cut points? Two more there. Do I may not be surprised there has been many cut corners due to. Hypercapitalism of this world. Yep. Okay. These two are all that's holding the railing on in place. So there. And there. Okay. Now you get in there. Okay. And now we can try separating the processor material from the furnace material that has already happened here. Wait, is there any... Wait, did I accidentally cut all of it loose already or something? At least on this panel? Or did I cut it loose just by cutting the... Well, the cut points? Possibly. Hmm. You get moving. It put me feel like, all right, all this, this should take and make it easier, but at the same time, it does make you wonder, uh, was this a spaceship ready to have a disaster? 
Very likely. Okay. Gotta keep an eye on where the processor is at all times so I don't accidentally head off into it. Uh, let's actually climb up a bit. Yeah, we're going to need to cut this part loose from uh, all of the other materials. Actually, the easiest way to do that is to just go over here. Okay. And then... Let's see. Probably try something like this. It's you loose. Not the best cut, maybe, but a well. Hmm. But not towards that, towards that. Hmm. To be honest, I'm probably yeah. Actually, yeah. That's 41k on that. That's four, <laughs> you know, 400k of this and 40k of that. So, honestly, screw it. Why not just uh, separate them from each other? Because the beams are holding them in place. So, we need to make quite a few precision cuts to actually get a decent amount of the. Uh, furnace material off of it, which probably is not really worth the time. Would be good for our completion score, but not too much else. And well, as long as we manage to get most of the uh, the salvage Ooh. markers, it'll be okay. And yeah, we're still getting in a lot more from that that we gained and that we than well, what we lose. Yeah, for a moment I thought it was a reverse. <laughs> for it took a moment for the odd ones to uh, click in. Yeah. There. Okay. I, I want to get try and get rid of mo this the rest of the shell. There you are. So we can move everything else out easier. There. Might as well grab you whilst we're here. There. There. And there. It's a good thing that the game doesn't keep in <laughs> keep in mind where the actual cutter is placed, since otherwise we would have cut through so many things of value already. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm a little surprised if uh, in an earlier version that was a problem. Potentially. Okay, that's still not going in. Let's put a few more of these. Ooh, hold. You know, hold on. Is what is something? Yep. The console. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a bit of a snipe. Oh! Come on, there. Okay. Box go down. Oh, well, not the box. It's still slowly, ever so slowly moving. Sticker unlocked. Mm -hmm. Let's pull you away from there. Do not pull myself towards the furnace. Away, please. There. Uh, wait, where's that airlock? Okay, where where did the airlock go there? Uh. I don't think it went into the furnace, or it would have complained at us. Uh, let me just pull back a bit. Where did, where did the damn thing go? Space? I didn't move it too much, I think. 
Uh, hmm, it doesn't tell us any specific things that were destroyed on that. Uh, okay, maybe it did end up going into the furnace. Or if you're lucky, it ended up coming down. Hmm, I think I pulled it towards me. But not with enough speed for it to just seemingly vanish like that. Or maybe I just didn't notice at all. Okay, that was the aluminium panel. Okay. Anyways then, let's continue on over here. Careful of the coolant line. Since we kind of need that intact to not have the reactor go boom. Hmm. Oh, your pieces are already moving away. And not there. There. Yoink. In you go. You still get a freaking move on. Okay. Back to panel cutting. Okay. Real careful around that coolant line. Very careful indeed. Oh, oh God, this I really miss you. It would be pretty awkward if it bursts and freezes you before you can uh, deal with the reactor. Yeah, <laughs> that would certainly be a problem. <laughs> you, would, you, pl you were planning a panda, weren't you? Mm, no, I was more thinking that if you'd, get fr you'd get flash frozen for a bit, and then you would get just completely and utterly incinerated. Hopefully yeah, before you can get, regain Hello. the sensation. <laughs> hey, Rom. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Okay. So, how's the ship breaking doing? Did you process oh. yourself again by accident? <laughs> Not yet, no. <laughs> <laughs> and we did manage to save the piece. Or at least the most important piece from it. <laughs> he did that last time. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the video. <laughs> we have a missing uh, airlock, but beyond that, things are going well. Uh, well, that thing is just very ever so slowly moving towards the processor. I think I've used like 10 <laughs> tethers on it now. But yeah, other than that, uh, no nuclear explosions. No fires. Nope. I did that move. So, yeah. What would happen if you, like, shot the entire ship into the green? Uh, it would complain at you about this doesn't belong here a, a, a lot. Uh, but I think it might actually just... It might actually consider a lot of <laughs> things actually, well, in the barts and thus give you credit for that at least. Actually, probably. that would probably be, like, the easiest way to get a few quick bucks. I really gotta get a new, uh, not a microphone, I already have a new microphone. Headphones, I can check that later. I really need to get a new desk. I need space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I have a bitty, there... I've got a pretty big desk myself, but it's already filled mostly with just memorabilia stuff and such. I have on the side of my... I have on my, uh, closet door. I, I barely use the closet of that. A bunch of pins, many of which are fading because of the sun hitting them, thus changing their color, or I have rusted a bit, so now I need to clean. So now I need to figure out how to clean rust. Yeah. Wait, you have rusted bed? No, no. pins. Pins, okay, okay. <laughs> it took you a bit I to like pin that one down. Uh, 
Uh, okay, now what I meant is that, uh, okay, so basically, back before the COVID, I used to go to a lot of conventions. Yep. Because I like going. I gotta get, oh, yeah. And, you know, I did that. And one of the things I always tended to get were pins and patches. I haven't attached any patches to my jackets yet, but I think I only have like one, maybe two jackets I can do that to. But yeah, one of the things I did was buy pins. In fact, one of my earliest pins, amusingly enough, is an Attack on Titan pin. I bought two of them, of black, of metal and black color. Yeah. One was the cross swords in front of a shield that was the training core symbol. And one was the garrison's, I think it was roses. Yeah, the garrison roses. Somehow I managed to lose the one for the garrison in my grandma, now my aunt's apartment years ago. And I, still, and I don't think it was ever found. And the one I have for the training core has like, at least the back of it, slightly broken. So okay. I can't really repair it. Okay. I, also have, Might not have... I also have a couple of... I got a few from like, Call of Duty. Infinite Warfare, I got one from Evangelion, I got a Catwoman one, I got one from Rosario Vampire, I got a, got a few from The Walking Dead, one from Star Wars, one from Sons of Anarchy, I got a bunch of them, I got a bunch of Adventure Time ones. Okay. They also have a Stormtrooper one, Storm one, I have a pin from The Punisher, I actually have an X-Men pin, but that one's been faded by the sun because I wore it on like my my backpack back when I was in college and the sun was a thing. And I have an Overwatch pin, which I didn't actually buy. I just got that pin because in my old, old ass college that the institution exists with the building it was on, it no longer worked, they had an Overwatch competition, and while I missed it, they still had a few pins, so they gave me a cup, so they gave me a pin. Okay. Oh. I think they That's also... nice. Yeah. Let's see, I don't think I have too many pins. I do have uh, an XCOM patch that you can stitch onto something because I pre-ordered uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown. And yes, in general, do not pre-order stuff unless you are really sure about the quality of it. But I, really I was not like disappointed it. with that. <laughs> I mean, it is XCOM. Also, today I finished The Suffering again. Okay. Congrats. Also, dumb question. Have you ever thought about playing that game for, like, Halloween or something? I could put it up there on the list for it, yeah. The Suffering. Which one? Which one is that again? It's yeah, the aspect. one. It's the one where you play as a prison inmate who is placed on death row for killing his family. Only he doesn't remember killing his family. Oh. And yeah, okay, you know, I know. Basically, Silent Hill in a prison. Something like that. Only the developers mm. themselves, due to its focus more on gunplay they considered more action horror than survival horror wasn't that very negatively reviewed or something no it was actually very well received could be more that people were more outraged by it and such as a lot of horror games of the time tended to be yeah that yeah. Or, or, or i when i was the review i maybe was not interested in it could be. Mm. Probably. Also, yeah, 
Uh, the Suffering and its sequel are in GOG. You can buy them from GOG, but I do recommend you go to the PC Gaming Wiki page of both of them to check up any issues that might be in any patches they've got there to help you. Yeah. It's always a good idea. There's the freaking rogue Bart, <laughs> the Bart's airlock. How the hell did it end up all the way over there? <laughs> okay, dunk you there. Wait, 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 I saw something important. Uh, where did you yeah. go? There, 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 there. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> now it's extra crispy for you. Do you see what I have to deal with here, Rom? <laughs> no, I missed it. I was actually looking up whether or not you could still play SWAT 4 and co-op. Heliolius! I just needed the food sure. package. Oh, but wait. Atmosphere regulator. It shot oh, well. a bag of chips into the furnace. Why? <laughs> because you because hardly get anything it. for it anyways. You might as well- He knew I wanted it. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's dislodged all of this quite a bit. Uh, let's try and get the ass off. For 15 bucks, you can name a Madagascar hissing cockroach after a loft one. Okay. It's on the what the fuck is wrong with your page in the gate channel. Uh, of course. And also, I want to put something here. This quick room mentioned they had a Star Trek badge? Star Wars. It was, oh, it was uh, Star Wars. Uh, not yeah. Star Trek. No, I don't really have any Star Trek badges. Alright, then I'm sorry for. I've been stuck with mental image of you having a red shirt. <laughs> with a Star Trek badge. <laughs> and I will blame Helia for that one. I do have one of those uh, Star uh, Trek Com badges over here that I bought whilst during the uh, during the vacation in London uh, last year. It's actually the the next generation one. It's less a pin and more just uh, yeah, like actually, uh, it's more held on with. Uh, Let's see, yeah, it has pins on the back, but then there's also a thing that you need to put over it to, well, stop it from stabbing you. One second, I found a thing that might be useful if we ever do want to co-op a different game. Okay. Yeah, because Left 4 Dead 2 is still a bit on the, uh, yeah, on the lam for potentially <laughs> being just yeah, a hacker's fest. Yeah, the pro yeah, we really need to test out Left 4 Dead 2 at some point mm. on our own time. And also, mm. if even if we Lucky. manage to make it not, even if we manage to make it work without anybody jumping in, we still need somebody to fit in slot four as a player. Yeah. Here we Anyways. Um, there's also Borderlands, but we haven't checked that, and I still need to finish those missions that I have on my own. Okay, and we still have Nessese on the side as well, but if, if you have any other games to suggest for co-op, uh, go, uh, go ahead with that and uh, put them forward. Um, I mean, <clears throat> hang on. I really... I just realized... Do you own SWAT 4? Uh, I might have it on GOG, but I'll have yeah, to no, check. Yeah, no, GOG, that's fine. Because that's like the only place you can really buy it. Uh, I posted... Uh, on... That's not what I meant to general, do there. On General and... Gaming, a tutorial, a tutorial on how to start a co-op of SWAT 4 with friends. Okay. So I can suggest that at least. <laughs> Though we might need more people. Uh, yeah, and since it's also a four player thing, I believe. Four, two. What is, what is slot four? 
You have four you have player four and such. Player. And this isn't actually moving like this. Uh oh. Hmm. Okay, let's try right, one time. more. It is a big ass weight on it. But if I can pull that out of the just the ass of the ship, it'll be a lot safer to work with everything. Hmm. Doesn't look like that's going to happen though. I feel like me and Rome should get ready to take cover. Yeah, because I, d I do want to try for the reactor next. And yeah, that's not working. I could try cutting it loose, but I'd, I'd have to cut off this. One second. Well, I, I could cut the board. No, I can't cut that. Hmm. Oh, well. We'll have to just do this as is. Maybe try to oh, move no. the shell. First, just get rid of the outer sides. There. Okay. It should be decently easy to just pull this thing out and launch it downwards. But, yeah. We'll still have to be very careful, of course, because it is a fucking nuclear reactor. <laughs> there. I'm still concerned here. <laughs> now we have an open pass straight down, so that is a good thing. Might as well. Are you being attached to something? No, you don't. <laughs> You you don't have a pause straight downhill. Okay, there is something in just behind it. So let me take a good look at that. Yeah, it's good to spot that. Uh, okay, that's the fuel line, but we've emptied uh, that out. I hope. Oh, oh good wait. God! Imagine if, if I had that not noticed that you didn't notice it either. If you just threw the new thing at your against a field fuel line. It should be empty. The lights are off. Oh, that's good. So, oddly still... enough, there is, I, I can't tell if this, what I'm not hearing here is from the reactor behind it or from the fuel line itself. Let's check it out over here. Yeah, the pipe is empty or should oh, be. Good. If but it yeah, is not, first... then we'll find out in just about a second. Yeah, but my point still stand. It will be a terrifying result. Tiny bit of fuel pipe lost. Let's see. Are you held down anywhere else, or just by jank? Let's have ourselves a look. You should be free floating, and you are okay. And we just pull that off to the sides and clear path. Okay. Might as well grab one of these. Okay. <clears throat> Can I pull you down enough to just toss you into the processor wholesale? No, because you're already just getting bonked around. And back to start. <laughs> did I? I hit the panel. No, I hit. I did hit. Did I hit the panel there? It, no, I hit. I hit. Somehow I shot that through the the gap and hit that instead. Okay, that's not going to work. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, there we go. And off. There goes the fuel section. This little bit is being a nuisance still, but at least it's clearly out of the way. Let's actually break that line before it starts pulling the entire thing towards there. Yeah, okay. but you just got hooked. <laughs> Okay. 
No. It... Fair. Right. Oh. And then we just push you out and go. That was probably one of the safest reactors we've done so far. And yeah, that was an entire goal just onto itself. Okay. Are we alive? Yes. Are you sure? No. <laughs> okay. Need to destroy this thing again, unless... Hmm. Could we say could we save that by just cutting all around it or something? Let's give that a shot. Doing this more for oh. <laughs> still cut the damn pipe. Okay, well. <laughs> Uh, let's see. You should be... Yeah, you're clear of the floor. Okay, might as well I'm continue back. destroying this wall. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, might have to leave early. I got food and I just barely have space. No problem. Uh, no worries. Yeah, okay. I'll see you guys later. See ya. Be safe and have a good yeah. feast. Yep. Thanks. You guys too. There. Hmm. Okay. No, we can just pull you out, or at least try to. Oh okay. yeah! See how you accidentally caught it now. <laughs> yeah. And actually, honestly speaking, we we need to destroy a tiny bits of the pipe, anyways, because well, it's a it's a barge item that's connected to uh, a, a processor item so yeah there's <laughs> it's one or the other and the barge is worth more than the pipe yeah he says just a small piece of pipe you destroy anyway compared to the long piece okay, come on or, let's be honest it's quite a big pipe yeah probably would have been more efficient to have only one airlock with uh, the reactor right next to the, with the coolant right next to the reactor but oh well no. this is still worth a little bit so off you go and then we just need to cut off what's held holding it in place here did i see something for the yep it's the computer terminal is for the barge of course I just want to say, look at the timer. 40 minutes. It's a lot quicker than on the previous one, huh? Yeah. So in a way, it was good. It was, it was easily disassembled, but again, it also raised concerns over who the heck built it. Yeah. That like, was probably a bit more than needed to be destroyed, but oh well. I, at this point, I kind of want to do a work a bit faster. To get the money. So, I can see the all points of the same as you can easily disassemble and assemble it. But you want it also to secure enough so it doesn't accidentally disassemble itself from being hit by something. Is it still somehow it's still counting it as being connected? Even though I can Is there a gap between that or not? Okay. Uh, let's stop that before too much gets thrown into something. Oh, I see one thing already. We forgot one of these panels. Okay. Now we can pull this free. Okay. But that doesn't explain how the pipe is still connected to the other half. Unless they are actually still touching. Huh. 
Okay, we'll have to sacrifice a little bit more pipe then. Unless I cut this away. Let's see, 3,020, but that might be in its entirety. Oh well. Always worth more to cut through something for the furnace than it is for something for the processor. Uh, there. And there. Okay. There we go. And off you go. But yeah, the, the, the cargo vessels typically have a lot more big uh, items than the, well, the ferries, which have a lot more small stuff, like all the freaking benches. Or yeah. seats. Okay, you're free. The fuck off. Okay, that has moved all of this quite a bit, huh? Now. Let's see, how do we disconnect the panel, the processor paneling from the rest here? Easiest to answer would be through these. Since that's the only way that we can cut through these at the moment. But I fear that might damage them in to the point where it would consider them to be, well, furnace items. And before we do that... Let's check for anything. Yep. For any lost bits in here. So, yeah. Consider this a test to see if that destroys it to the point where they don't want it. Let's see. Okay, it is counted as loose. And that actually didn't destroy it. Well, much if anything else. So, that ought to be a real good cut. Probably because I've also upgraded those things to not, you know, to have a much smaller area of effect and thus a lot less likely to damage things you don't want damaged. And holding in a sneeze? Or. I get it ready to sneeze, but nothing happens? Yeah, that's also a nuisance. Yeah, for. If it's coming, it's coming, call me, it's called me, I'm gonna turn away. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, one more. Just as close as possible. Uh oh. Okay. And off you go. Okay, we still have all that fuel in the back there, but that can be easily thrown in. Can I wonder... Hmm? Aren't the management afraid that the, the workers may start a revolt with these tools? <laughs> yeah, they probably have something in place to lock it down when it's not in use inside of the uh, the working areas. Plus, you need a certification to be able to use them. Okay. Yeah, but you still see my point, like, this can be a deadly weapon. Now look, the cutters themselves could also be a, a deadly weapon, seeing as well it cuts through so much stuff. Yeah, that, that's the one I'm talking about. Like, the cut cutter can cut through a lot, the other thing can just throw things at you? Or drag? And there are probably still safety measures in place so that it's not used on people and such. So now, now I'm honestly thinking a bit, what if you were to mod in multiplayer with this and you just start throwing around the other people you've brought in? Don't oh, God. break it. Throw it. I'm a I would not be surprised if they do a plan a sequel and they add multiplayer and it will be a mess. Yeah, multiplayer is something that can be quite hard to actually get working. Yeah, the problem with it, it is that if you want multiplayer, yeah, you need to work with it early on as possible. 
for the longer yeah. you wait with multiplayer on a game in its development, the harder it gets. It's going to tear a hole in this, make it easier to get stuff through. Oop, that cut a bit more than I wanted, but it will. Okay, these part for some reason these panels are really segmented down, so it makes it annoying to cut through them. That's that one. Still being held here. Okay, are you free? Wait, yes, you are. Glass? Yeah, glass and aluminium panel. That glass looks rough. Now, it is part of a, a cargo ship. Oh, I accidentally cut one of the beds up. Oh, well. It's still just, just still just look at the bar at the top. We can we can miss one little uh, bed with this. We need every single penny. No, they have to there. There. An intact one. Okay. Apes. Some of these. Okay. This one. And then most of the valuables are left in the cockpit. After that, all of this can be thrown in an air filter. Let's see. Yeah, you... Okay. If I'd, see, if I'd spotted this thing earlier, I could have saved myself the hassle of cutting out that wall. But oh well. Hindsight. There. And there. Okay. Wait, was it already free or... Whatever. There. Okay. Some lights here and there. The red ones the game does not care about. But all of this, it does. Light terminal, that's a new one. Let me have a look at you. Oh, no. <laughs> it's just, well, at a different angle than I'm used to. <laughs> I thought for a moment it was like a data bank or something. Okay. Bonk. I was expecting a crack there for a second. And again, these are empty, only 27 uh, kilos, so they aren't that hurtful. There. There. Okay. And after this, it'll mostly just be dragging the, re the skeleton back the, over into the furnace and we'll be done within an hour. There. No clue why these handles are so expensive. Okay. Probably Two special lights. made. It's uh, security stuff and all. Since, let's be honest, if you're gonna have handles on a spaceship, you want the proper ones. Yeah. Okay. Like, as an example, you're on a spaceship, and how the heck would you react if there was just... You know, metal handles you, you use most likely see in a kitchen. On a yeah. drawer or such. It would not be too amused. Yeah. Okay. Do, think about it, you would probably want some proper ones in a space kitchen and all that. So make sure you can lock each drawer in case something happens. Yeah, that would be Otherwise, absolute hell. Yeah, imagine bloody heck. 
Right. I overlooked you. Actually, I'm afraid about it. I feel like they missed something there for this all, all these Star Trek shows. What, what kind of madness could happen in the kitchen with the gravity turned off and the knives and forks fly about everywhere? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay. Now, the rest of you. Oh, gosh. Now I just and... imagine John Luke accidentally getting a pot over his bald head. <laughs> So that would probably serve as a protection against the knives and forks. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, any last bits? Uh, that's where that one went. We were missing one. And beyond that, not too much of value. So, get one point and get it over to the other. And now we problem. finally work on, <laughs> on getting the fuel and the engines out. Hmm. I should maybe try a bit of a challenge at some point of just trying to fuel one of these things from front to back and not being allowed to touch anything uh, behind where I've uh, managed to open it already or something. Uh, I'm not sure about that. And I would be able to say you would to play this game with one hand. <laughs> Excellent. There you go. You need both hands to play this game, right? You have to play it well, at least. You're not going anywhere. You're going somewhere, but not where you are currently headed. Okay. Now, let's get the fuel out. The final hazards. Uh, lost a light, but oh well. Oh, bloody heck. I was in uh, at Remarque and Orcs. Can drink fuel and can drink, get drunk on it. There's a little something unwanted in the barge, but I'm not going to care. Uh, okay. uh, by the way, I learned something more about squeak species that I probably still canon. Oh. A squeak they use, let's say, toothpaste. <laughs> really? And uh, it gets mad. They even have a squeak that they use as a uh, bagpipe. <laughs> okay. A, a bellows squig or something? Uh, I think it was just called a bagpipe squig or something. Bag squig. <laughs> I need to have a fluffy thing that looks like a dog called the Growler or something, and... Pet squig. I guess the fur is more... Oh, sorry, go on. Pet squig. Uh, no, it's called, it was called a Growler, I think. And no, I, I think the fur the... is actually more of a, whatever mushrooms have. Spores? Uh, no, uh, not that. No, not sp uh, they think that can look like a fur. The strings and all that on the mushroom. Okay. If you call something with M, mylocene or something? Mycelia, but I think M that's more. Yes. I... yes, mycelia. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. I think. I think mycelia is also a bit of a more general term. They were. You're headed that way or mushrooms or something, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a mushroom expert myself. These last few bits... I probably could end up watching the last one. video for... Oh, I there see what happened here. Or no, actually, no. Weak species. It's ridiculous. Okay, for a moment I thought that I had accidentally linked that one to that piece. Okay. Just need to move you forwards. Okay. Are you moving on your own? You are moving on your own. You're getting sucked in. Okay, and that's the last goal. And 18 short of the next certification. But we, we can just pick up a small ship, pull its reactor out, dunk it in, and probably call it there. 
And then we'll get the next bits. Yes, yes. What they mean is call it on this ship, not the stream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If we just get one, uh, we just need eight. No, actually, we passed it. Oh, they just didn't count him earlier. Okay, we, but yeah, if we had fallen just a little bit short, I would have just grabbed a small ship to tore it out, you know, tore out its reactor, and yeah, just <laughs> yeah, yeah, have it enough to get to the next part. Yeah, let's get this, uh, these lost bits in so we get the, at least as much money as possible. Yep. Okay, that's close enough, I think. So let's jump out when it's actually been processed this time, instead of wasting... <laughs> ...is for wasting uh, uh, some. <laughs> okay, last a check. Call... Oh, bloody heck, I thought you just died. Nothing glued to the back, but there is something hanging out there. Is that just... what is that? It... Is that that asteroid fragment that I found whilst we were pulling off the shell? Yep. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, you get an express lane to hell then. <laughs> and then there's just some garbage flying around. Material there we go. Another 12k, and another done. Uh, another day done. Did you almost say another day dumb? Yeah, uh, another done day, I almost said. Oh. Okay, gold seal. License level increased. Yeah. What are we going to get new with uh, the story? If any. Ah. You're right. Oh, we were stretching. Yep. Ghost ships. Notice to all ship breakers. Starting this week, we will be receiving semi-regular shipments of uh, ships found abandoned near the edges of the frontier. You may hear others refer to these as ghost ships, but please note ghost ships are a colloquialism. Uh, uh, did I even say that right? Colloquialism? Something like that. And Lynx takes no responsibility for any non-corporeal entities encountered aboard these vessels. These ships have been gently used by previous crews before and being discarded for reasons we are not legally required to ascertain. A reminder that these vessels, either previously Lynx owned or otherwise, avoid their ownership rights if uninhabited for three days. Really? Under stellar law, Lynx has first salvage rights to uninhabited vessels, as outlined in blah 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 blah. Please note that while a preliminary sweep of this ship has been done, revealing only minorly anomalous readings, a more in-depth assessment of any issues, terrestrial or otherwise, is the sole responsibility of the assigned shipbreaker. Any questions, uh, HR, which is just going to get deleted on, on the receival. But yeah, <laughs> ghost ships are now available. And Gecko Stargazers, which is the Gecko uh, Science Ships. Let's see, all questions can be sent through our automated answering machine uh, for review. At this time, I can't confirm if the Stargazer model has a fault in its atmosphere control system. The investigation into the incidents around the Enceladus are inconclusive, and we will be pursuing action against those reporting otherwise. Of course. 30k added, or rather subtracted from the uh, debt. Yeah, anything else? Yep. Sir, I wanna check in with you about how. <laughs> Listen, back around where I grew up, you cross paths with all kinds of critters. Possums, coyotes, bears. And once in a while you find yourself nose to nose with a bobcat. Bobcat's an unpredictable creature. A scared one, just as likely to fight tooth and nail as it is to scamper away. How? How is terrified of not measuring up to the rest of us, failing, losing his status, and he's he's fixing for a fight, driven by that fear inside him. Thing is, 
Bobcat's just another animal. How? He's only human. You understand his fear. You can reason with him. So, I'm working on taming our local wildcat. Now you stay strong. We'll be through with this soon enough. See you out there, Cutter. Yeah, the, the mistake you're making there, Weaver, is that you presume he wants to be reasoned with. Okay, nothing new here. Okay, how's the equipment do, uh, doing? Okay, pretty decent. Oh yeah, the hmm. stickers, we got uh, several new stickers. A lot of... Actually, I, I should probably just swap a few of those around. Might as well swap these out as well. Let's see. Mm, yeah, that looks nice. Okay. Uh, stickers. We have underreacting salvage five class ones. Uh, yeah, might as well slap some of these around here. Uh, we haven't... A collective <laughs> drastically underreacting, okay. Uh, Helter Smelter incinerates 35 kilos of aluminium. There. Let's just slap any and all of these onto here. Uh, da -da Just slapping these all over the place. And no, that's not that. There. Wait, safety third. Yeah. There. And upgrade me. Do you know see why I was being nervous about us return to this game? Yeah. Let's see. There. There. And that's all the stickers we have. Okay. That's going to <laughs> nicen up our gear a bit. <laughs> okay. We're done with that thing. Now, let's see a stargazer. Okay. Uh, let's see. We need this. Yeah, we need the distributor still. But for that, we need to. Oh, hello. Unknown Station Hopper, Mackerel, level 8. We don't get to see what it looks like and all. We have a Javelin. We have another one of these. Hmm. 34. Only 10k on this. So, Stargazer, or shall we take a look at the Unknown? I got curious on this Unknown. Okay. Yeah, claiming a new ship, we'll clear it out. Church of the Machine God. Like seeds in the wind, she scattered her children and with her, her message. Okay. Does that have any origin on spa- on the- Don't know about all of you, but ghost ships really creep me out. I mean, they're not really ghost ships, Kai. Just a malfunctioning AI. Nothing to be afraid of. Uh, I'm not so sure. They give me a really weird feeling, especially with that high-pitched scream when you cut them. Wait, what scream? Yeah, like, you know, when you cut them. What are you talking about? I, well, I, I'm really confused right now. You're not hearing this? <laughs> are you messing with me? I swear, Ty, we're not messing with you. You're hearing it too, Cutter, right? Just a lot of superstition around these things. Like Lou said, just a pile of old AI tech. Nothing more. Okay. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how tempted I was just to suddenly scream there. <laughs> but it would have been too mean to jump scare you like that. Yeah, you jump scare anyone listening in. Ooh. Burn them up 
up with your gutting tool on the spot. Or two, you chuck them in the furnace. Okay, I think we got close to one of the AI nodes there. Okay. Yep. And yeah, we're, we're getting static all over the place here. Are, are we near the reactor? We are not near the reactor as far as I can simply glance. Okay. So yeah, let's find ourselves some ghosts to bust, huh? I'm pretty sure ghost ships got added with a Halloween update. Which, well, <laughs> of course they got added with the Halloween update. I love what we wouldn't see them unless it's during Halloween, but nope. Okay, depressurize this thing. Okay, now where are those nodes hiding? Computer and terminal also, here. I need to come fuel. with the one we did earlier. This game has the old cult mechanicus. <laughs> yeah, I was going to try and say that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, the outsides are <clears throat> unpressurized. The only thing with pressure is the cockpit. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of half tempted to see if we can somehow replicate that incident uh, where <laughs> a cockpit went flying backwards, even though it was pointing toward the place where the breach was. So where is the reactor? Or does this one not have one? It probably has one somewhere. In the meanwhile, it's, it has a radiation filter. Drink. Let's see. And, um, in? Hmm? Don't blow yourself up. <laughs> No promises. Okay. Hmm. Now, how I'm going. We're going to need to depressurize that thing, but I hope. This thing is right here. Uh, let's open up the airlock as well. And yeah, th this is just a tiny little ghost ship at the moment. So, yeah, the ways that things can get screwed around are a lot more safe on this. There. Ooh. You're shocking or sparking, so... Away with you. On bigger ships, ghosts... Uh... <laughs> yeah, on bigger ghost ships, it's of course going to be a lot more of a deal to, uh, well, try and deal with them safely. And that broke the atmosphere regulators. Okay, but other than that, a pretty good depressurization. So, let's work on the shell. There, and there. Nope, not that. That. Oh. What? <laughs> Hello, I'm back. Uh, yeah, I actually tried to scare you there. <laughs> Brought her half-heartedly from the sound of it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let, let's be honest. If I actually roared or screamed now properly, that would probably be the overkill, wouldn't it? Yeah. A small jump scare is one thing, but making you so scared that you fall off a chair might be <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> Miss you. But oh, yeah, I just turned to be a, bit, a little bit funny. <laughs> there. And there. Looks like all of the AI nodes are just sticking to the insides of the outer shell. Okay, you got quite a bit of momentum from that. Oh gosh, I just realized. 
if I ever, we ever meet in real life, if I ever to visit, visit you or your home or something, yeah. I'm probably gonna accidentally jump scare you a lot. <laughs> oh, hello, there you are. Uh, yeah, this is one of the AI nodes. Oh dear, destroy. Yeah, for people wondering, apparently I am very, I have very quiet feet. <laughs> There. So okay. yeah, there has been many times I just walk casually, and suddenly people get jump scared, but they finally notice too late that I'm in the same room as them. <laughs> yeah, there we go, Cutter. That's how it's done. Next one you see, just rinse and repeat. Okay. Yeah, the the thing with ghost ships is is that the AI nodes will mess around with the ship's internal systems, so they could have, they could end up uh, yeah, pressurizing a room that you're in, or that you're trying to depressurize and such. They can mess around with doors and such. Let's not cut the ceiling. Okay, but I do believe they are dependent on the ship's electrical systems as well. So if you manage to get that pulled out and such, then I think they basically become you know, harmless. Okay, the floor is giving way. Let's nudge it along. There. Okay. Let's continue on with this, and we'll be done with our first ghost ship. Seems something's still um, interfering with the comms there. Yeah. That is another way in... I don't know if that'll stop once we get rid of all of the nodes. But we'll find that out. Door. Nope. There. Yes, yes. You get moving there. And the alarm is going to keep going until we refill. So we may as well. Okay. But yeah, you can see how those AI nodes would be a much bigger problem on a much bigger ship. And plus, it, it with the audio interference, it could also just mess with you hearing something like, well, low fuel no, uh, notifications and such. Or screams, I guess, as well. <laughs> Yeah, we'll burn out the next one that we find, the AI nodes, to showcase that. Okay, now just get enough distance for it to line up across the entire the of it. Yep. Yeah, it's coming out on its own with that bit now. There. Okay. 71k of glass. There we go. And easy access to the internals. And the heck is... Oh, it's the fuel system. It's the cooling! Okay. Yeah, cooling here, and then... Fuel pipe there. That's already broken? Wait. Okay. Wait, do you see that? <laughs> okay, the game got deselected there for a second. Oh, for love of... Okay, that, that was a bit of a puckering moment as well, because I thought something was going to explode, and the game was just trying to render it. Yes, that's what I thought I thought, oh shit, he, sh he shot a new reactor, for I saw the nuke symbols on that damn thing. Nope, something is loose. Well, half the ship. There. Okay. Yep, no, we... We managed to bungle the cockpits to be in an angle. This is loose, because it wasn't outlined with the rest. There. And if something was heard in the background, that was my aunt's uh, leaving. I did not hear. Okay. 
there because it was our turn to cook this weekend. Might as well do this whilst we have easy access and before all of this gets just janked all around the place. Okay. But yeah, ghost ships, again, the bigger, the more of a threat slash nuisance it'll be. Since this is literally the smallest ship that we can find it. Okay, you saw the door closing there? Apparently they can still mess around with the systems. Oh, even for when sure. everything I should be connected. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw the doors closing there because they they were open before because we depressurized the cockpits. There. Okay, not risking that cuts. Okay, so the, the AI course can still muck about even when... Actually, no, the electrical system is still intact. There's a second power distributor. So there is still electricity in the thing. As we can check with this. Yep, still some electrical bits. Don't yep, there is. Now. There. There you go. Okay. Drink. The last thing you need is you accidentally impaling yourself on a ten on a damn ghost ship. Okay, how, that, how did that these move so head. much? Okay. I don't remember I doing anything that should have caused them to move this much. Oh dear. Unless they janked each other around or something. Actually, I just realized mm -hmm. I. Yeah, if you impaled yourself an antenna on a ghost ship like this, bloody heck, imagine the hit on morale on everyone that would be. Everyone would be paranoid as hell. Yeah. Oh, careful. Okay, I pulled you loose so you wouldn't get as much in the way as much with that. I, got, I, just, yeah. I did see hell now by accident. I used to see yeah. hell. <laughs> If you if you were to impale yourself on an antenna on a communications antenna on a ghost ship, you'd, you would definitely be a ghost signal. There. There. <laughs> Knew that was coming. Cutter, you gotta deal with them nodes. Burn them up oh. or chuck them in the furnace. Oh, it must have been was one of them on something there. Okay. Let's see. It shouldn't really make too much difference if they end up in the processor, though, since that would destroy them as well. But, like, oh well. Let's see. Can I spot them through this somehow? There, and the rest of you, there, okay, one last look over for any AI nodes, okay, Oop. there we go, I forgot to pull out the door console, but oh well, this 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 ship is but a small fry. We are doing this more for the, the show, the showcase, than to gain actual profit off of it, because we could have picked a, a 30 million worth one. And there's the reactor. Careful now. Okay, I'm going to presume that this end has been sealed off or something, otherwise it would be... Well, <laughs> it'd be leaking fuel. Okay. Hmm. 
So what's holding you in place? Did I miss one? Oh, oh no, I, I know what's keeping you in place. It's the fuel pipe. Okay. Caref very careful near the oh, reactor. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I know you flew past. Yep. And I'm going to leave that alone until the reactor is long gone. There. Okay, that's emptied out the fuel pipes. So we can uh, cut these. Okay. Are you sure the, the thing may not accidentally decide to, you know... Make the reactor active in a bad way? Yeah, that would destroy themselves as well. Okay. Come on. Now you tell me the the corrupt AI is acting logical. Maybe not, but enough to try and preserve its own survival, perhaps. Cutter, Lynx ain't gonna take that node. You gotta burn it up or toss it in the furnace. Where? Oh, no, oh, sneaky. One attached itself to the. <clears throat> One attached itself to the airlock here. They won't take the item unless it's been cleared. Okay, at least this makes them really easy to spot. There we go. There's another one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> This is actually a, a good way to just find the things if you don't want to bother. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh. Take, an, take an angle where it won't hit the coolant tank. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, well. The stupid thing reflected it, the, the laser, I think. But again, this is just a small thing more to, well, showcase ghost ships a bit. Okay. Now, let's continue here. We'll have to do another cut in the fuel line. There. Okay. To do a shove. Thank you. <clears throat> then you just get lost. Okay. And yeah, this will be simple enough. Let's pull her out. And go. Now. You actually we we could just leave you be. This is going into the furnace anyways. Okay. You are loose. Hmm. Can I just shove all of you away? No, you're being held still by something. Probably over here. Also. Also, the com uh, computer thing over your head. Yeah. I yeah, could have done that earlier, but I will. There. There. Slow you a bit. Pluck you off. There. Okay. There. Okay. Now, can we pull this free? Hmm. Okay, I think they're holding. E I think those two panels are keeping each other connected. Uh, can we pull the engine out? Yes, we can. Yep. <laughs> and send that for a spin. Okay. It's a, that'll be a little bit. That's not going to be sold, but oh well. A lot more valuable than that is going to be. Oh, that's what's been. Keep, that's what's keeping it in place. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, careful, careful. Yeah, just gotta find an angle where. 
it won't be behind it. Oops. <laughs> there. Okay, now give it a shove. Pull you out. Oh, you, you are full. You are very much full. Okay. Now, just need to disconnect you. And yeah, because this is a higher ranked uh, mackerel, we actually, these, these are actually connected, or the nacelles are actually connected to the fuel. Because those haven't been plucked out already by other shipbreakers. Okay, and the rest of you, not there. There. Okay. Now, we need to get you out after we empty the fuel system. Okay. Coming out, coming out. Oh, it's being blocked by that a little bit. Okay. At least there shouldn't be too much more of a threat or hazards near these. There. Okay. Still connected somewhere. Let's see. Or is it just the fuel line holding everything together? It looks to be the case, so we'll just have to cut it at one point, and hopefully that'll get everything to move. Yep, there it goes. Okay. <clears throat> Coming out, you. Some very heavy fuel. Okay. With that out of the way, we go for the nacelle. And there, and there. Okay. Okay. And then the rest just goes to the processor. Okay. No. Oop. Okay. So this is how we can easily spot the AI nodes. Okay, so a bit late for it to start fighting back, huh? Okay, since all of nearly all systems that they can screw around with have already been plucked out. Okay, speaking of pluck, there and there, yep, out of tethers. Okay, just send you on your way. Okay. Now, radiation that we do have to be careful with. Yep. That way. I did it say now that they ha the AI thing is has gone to haywire, so it's yeah. not working as intended. Uh, it more <laughs> more like we uh, hamstrung it before it could become a hazard. And that's on its way. Okay. I think it was already in way. Like, I think it may have gone insane. Perhaps. Okay. You. Food! There. Give. You. Okay. Anything else of some interest floating around? A few terminals. <laughs> okay. Actually, don't you get any point coins for flowing through into the barge? 
Uh, no, it's it's all all the food and stuff is marked for the furnace. Let me see if yes, yeah. See food pack furnace. It is worth nine hundred though. Wait, what? Yep. Maybe they changed stuff. I feel like they used. I feel like we had threw them into the box before. I got money. I don't think so, or at least I don't remember so. Okay, get the air filter out. Okay, it's still being well, it's still being held by these things probably. Okay, let's burn them off. And there we go. One air filter and some extra lights to go along with it. You can call it a decoration. There and go. Okay, now let's have a look. There's a few AI nodes here. One that's partially... Okay, that's a bit of an error. Okay. No. Uh, yep, come on. Just a bit. Yep, there we go. Bye-bye, Wally. Oh, oh, okay. We get, a, we get quite a lot for killing these off as well. Okay. Let's see. I'm not seeing anything else more. There's a panel with cutting lines on them, but... Nothing of value in it. Okay. Yep. Okay. We can't shove this around. So we'll just have to get a tether. Oop. Actually, there's still this thing here. Uh, let's see. These were a nuisance to get loose before. So let's see if we can have more luck with that this time. It's already cut through. And we just need to keep on cutting until this thing weighs only a lot less than this. 494. There. Yeah, it's still attached. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to cut... Hmm. Let's see, where does it start and where does it end? Actually, probably the easiest way to do this is to just go like this. There we go. Okay. And there it goes. <laughs> okay, now let's grab a tether. Grab some tethers since they come in a pack anyways. Oop, let's not be faster than terminal velocity because that turns red, which means that we will get damaged if we hit something at that speed. Okay. Thank you for the mental image of tethers in a pack. Oh, this now that's the fuel and such. Okay, off you go. I you see the tether dragging home its meal to feed its pack. Yep. Get Blame moving Helium you. Rat, you folks. Blame Helium. I will take full blame for those. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you like that pun? <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah, but actually, I wonder, have you ever seen a pun that's even painful for you? Mm, a few, I think. Not too many. Yeah, I, Keep on I don't going. remember if, you, if I was around the time where you actually found one of those horrible puns. It was even so horrible that you, even you could handle it. There we go. Mm. 
Okay, are we going to fall just short because we didn't clear off enough? Oh, no, there we go. Okay. And that's our first ghost ship done. It's quite a bit lost, but that's probably because I didn't cut off the, uh, the AI nodes and some of the stuff that went into the processors or such. And yes, there was a big part still attached to the yeah, to the uh, engine, but or the, rather the thruster. But oh well. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we still have a little bit of time, <clears throat> so yeah. we can at least get a start on the next ship. There we go. Oh, or get some story. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Hey, Rook. What's going on, huh? <laughs> I hope you're doing okay. I've been checking in on the others too. Everyone's pretty spooked right now. You know, I've been wondering if it'd be better for me to keep my head down. I've been fighting my whole life. And, well, I'm tired. And I can't tell how much I'm risking myself or risking others. Sometimes it feels like no one else is really on the same side. Like, I'm the only one trying. Maybe it's not worth all the energy and risk. Sometimes I wish I was just back home. Listening to tapes, tinkering with bikes, having a beer with my old man. Anyway, I'll let you get some rest. See you in the yard. Blew out. Yeah, that is how uh, they do it with union busting. They don't just get, uh, they don't just get you to try and back off for your own protection, but for the protection of others as well. Lynx would like to share the following message. The only peas permitted in the salvage yard are profit, processor, the message? potassium sulfonate. Okay. Let's what see. What the heck? What was that about? Let's see. From park to... Oh, it's, 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 it's been marked as spam. Uh, hi, so our big campaign just finished, and now I've been thinking of DMing a Blue World game. It's an alternate Earth where AI interfered before the Great Swamp of Vacation. I've attached a page for character creation, including class and alignments. <laughs> we'll be accepting up to eight players, because the games run long uh, otherwise. Uh, but if there's enough interest, we can coordinate multiple campaigns with crossover events. Let me know. P.S. Links got really weird when I mentioned it was an AI-themed campaign. So if we can avoid them hearing about this, it would be great. Okay, so that's why it's marked spam. <clears throat> okay, now what can we recover from this helmet? Of course, most of it is useless. Let's see. This is Pilot Olsen Per, uh, <clears throat> SFC number 55 uh, 80. We're currently in Frontierland, about 50,000 clicks out from the edge of Vesta Incorporated Sector 12. As per Stellar Regs, I'm logging this report to be dispatched when we get back into relay range. We've uh, picked up a signal coming from further out in the frontier. It's weird. Doesn't correspond with any standard emergency signals, but it's definitely regular and in intentional. Could be an SOS. We're going to go ahead and investigate and we'll log another report with what we find. We'll follow for the search and rescue subsidy when we're back station side. Noting our course change at 2120, 29th of May. Olsen out. Okay. And that is where they found this. That's where the signal came from. Okay. And origin. Orinem? Join. Here is the message. We will stop the roots, the growth. We, I, the angel, the messenger, angel or Bergsmania. Uh, no, Bergmansia. Messenger or Iris. Uh, Indices. Everyone a beautiful seed. A seed that became the machine. Of Anthurium of Dysopnisperus with its stems that graft, graft ever deeper, taking only what God knows. This is the message to host us to join in glorious union for eternity. You oh. misread a few things to her. Yeah, <laughs> that's Allows. why I started skipping. <laughs> Allows, not knows, and 
Brugmansia, I think that's pronounced. You call it Berg. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, are, is there an AI cult out there? Like an. Oh. Join. Hearing the message. We will stop the rates. The growth. Hearing the message. We will stop the rates. The growth. We. I. The angel. Uh, yeah, there. There is an a cult of AIs out there, perhaps. Okay, let's double check the equipment, and then we'll take our, our last 15-ish minutes. Uh, I'll start repairing stuff when it's around 60. Okay, and let's start. Oh dear. <laughs> nah, we Oh, a ghost gecko. And we have a heavy cargo. Hmm. And we want to get going, now we get that go. Well, I say let's go for it. For yeah, <laughs> <laughs> from an easy go ship to probably a lot more problematic of one. And it's just. Might need to be a little careful with this ship. She's been giving us some grief. Sound or float. Manifest and completely wiped. Flagged it took a long walk. Never came home. Just keep an eye out, all right? Don't think okay. any little green men are gonna come jumping out at you, but there might be uh, some leftovers of the crew. We were out. Okay. <laughs> Leftovers of the uh, crew. That's going to be fun to run across. As in, not. Okay, get these armor plates moving, which are very heavy. Uh, and Those not are loose. not armor plates, or I guess you could. Those that's are was, solar that's a solar battery. Okay. Hmm. So I suspect they would have some armor plating to protect them from, well, micro asteroids. This is a yeah. thing, people, and they are uh, bigger danger than the big ones, but the big ones you can see coming and deal with. And the micro, mic micro asteroids are basically like getting shot by a railgun out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, and they are probably one of the things that they always try to make sure the spaceships can handle. For if they crack a window or the panel, of any part of the spaceship or satellite, yeah, it can become a very big issue quickly. Yeah, especially if it just punch. You know, punch they, they can even just punch holes through uh, through panels without you even noticing, and uh, until you notice that. Or where did half the oxygen go? Yeah, or worse. Uh, it, oh, okay, Wolfie, I don't sure if it has happened yet. But it could probably go through a person. Definitely. No idea if that has happened yet, but not impossible. Get these batteries off first. And then we're going to go uh, AI busting. A part of me wants to avoid the AIs, to basically let them be and they let us be for a bit. But on the other hand, taking them off would probably make things a little bit more interesting. Okay, and this entire thing needs to be depressurized. Yeah, there's the entrance. Okay. And I think this will be our first real science ship as well. Mostly we've just been doing station hoppers or cargo uh, vessels. Oh, hello, right off the bat one. Okay, I'll have to keep in mind that you're here and get you out before I throw this out. Okay. Totally not creepy. Give me that. Hmm. Even
even more fitting that it's a ghost ship <laughs> science ship. Because I'm pretty sure there are a few of these where the crew just take these things out to, well, work on experiments outside of the view of everyone else. Yeah. Okay, let's... I found the dampener! Yeah, it's we a distributor. I, I think it's a distributor that we need. Not a well, dampener. Did say in purple, uh, you, got, uh, you got the dampener. Oh yeah, you did. Maybe you did say this. Yeah, it, it'll oh, be more of a right. thing if it's the thing we actually need. Okay, let's have a look around for anything loose to grab. Like these. Another fuse. Okay. There's the fuel. Let's see. Okay, the outside where this the shell is still pressurized. So let's put it back up. Mist and all. Okay. No. Open you up. Anything else? Yeah, some goodies here. And, oops, some wires. For a second I thought I saw a helmet floating around. Okay. Are you scared it was wires and not organs? <laughs> I think I heard, heard an AI node nearby there. Okay, let's check the... Yeah, let's check the shell. Where, uh, how would you call it? Actually, we... The thruster room over there, lab here, compartment, compartment, crew area. Hmm. Oh, oh hello. Gimme. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, recording this, and then, and then I gotta stash it. Uh, someone has boarded us. Don't know who yet. They hit us with, uh, I don't know, it must have been an EMP or something. Every ship system went down. Then, uh, then, then they, they booted it all back up when something just scrapped us. I could, I could hear the clamps. I heard them cutting in through the hull. Now, if they are bandits, they are a hell of a lot more sophisticated than anything we have run into before. They took over all our systems. Doors are locked and overrides are disabled. The comms are offline. They turned off the damn lights and... We are trapped in the dark. I can hear those walls. Oh no. They are in the next room. Please, whoever gets this, tell Harold Lamar on IO Way Station 9. Ted loves him. Okay. Oh, and wait, does this lead out? Okay, that that, that leads into the uh, the buffer zone. Okay, don't think we'll actually find a well. <laughs> there's not going to be a hole in the hall, otherwise all of this would have been blown out long ago. Okay, and this one's broken. Let's see. Anything of real interest floating around in here? Technically, we probably should do this before we yeah, empty, the, the, empty out the atmosphere in these things beforehand, but uh, well, there typically did isn't too much floating around here. Did, did you think you were... Are you a ghost? No. Let's see. Okay, now before anything else... Okay. Now we can actually hear those things getting emptied out as well. Right, who was the talker? Girl of the... Of the helmet. The helmet head. Uh, Ted is the son, I'm presuming, or 
their significant other, perhaps? All right, then, uh, yeah, still. I feel sorry for both of them. Let's see. Anything of particular interest that I can catch like this? It, wait, is that is that one of the bastards? Okay, no, I thought for a moment that there was a one of the AI nodes inside the reactor. Oh, that would be pure bullshit. Okay. Yeah, it looks like most of them are just in the airlock. Okay. Well, time to start emptying... Every, well, emptying everything of air. We can't... Uh, we can't uh, mechanically empty this one out because this one's broken. For that, I might as well drag it out somewhere else. So it won't get destroyed. Okay. Um... Cockpit is small, so let's just take you out as well. Okay. Then close this. Actually, all of these should close off their own accord once we de once we depressurize this area. Might as well double check that because they don't de de depressurize adjacent rooms. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Closed. Closed. Okay. Uh, where did those regulators fly off to? Uh, okay. It's missing again. No. Nah. I saw a screw. Okay. Now. Wait. Did that depressure? No, that did not depressurize the inner hull. So, yeah, that's going to be a bit. But why would. Uh, right, of course, because there's still the hull between that and everything else. Okay. Oop. No explosions. Okay, and nothing destroyed. Okay. So, yeah, that, that actually works. Just pull the... Rec in the areas that you can't uh, depressurize, tear off the atmosphere regulators, and they'll not get destroyed. Okay. Now, let's open this thing up to open space. And then we can... Uh, we can head back, probably. Because it is almost time to end the stream. You are a big one. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how much have we actually gotten so far? Two million. So still a profit on the day. Okay. Um, hmm. Actually, let, how many points can we get from this? Uh, MP60, 180. Okay, we can definitely get enough out of this to get to the next one. Let's see. Two, three, uh, five. Hmm. We, yeah, we can get enough. Uh, more. Yeah, we can get enough for the next uh, certification level. Question is, should I work on this thing off stream to the point where we almost get to the next level, or shall I just show the entirety of this thing getting pulled apart next time? I think I want to see... I feel like we should do the save the rest for next time for... There might be more audio things in that damn thing. Yeah, and just shenaniganery. <laughs> yeah. Like, ha Hello, Shipbreaker. Please enjoy this inspirational message. The last 10% of a job takes as much energy as the first 90%, which is why it's so important to always give 110%. Uh, oh, dear. Hmm. Well, yeah. Are they, oh, oh, had it just been a regular big ship, I would say just uh, do it off screen, but... 
This one I feel like we should do on screen is on stream for the I feel like there's something going on. Let's see, voice log, recording this, then you gotta stash it. Spam, shipwide Halloween party uh, from Karen at Lynx. Uh, Halloween aboard the ship, boo ghouls aboard. Da, 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 da. Winner gets a chance at, and then it just gets corrupted. That probably means something. In So I'll just take a print screen out of that. The picture that goes with it. And Genetrix. Routines. ghost ships infested with sentient AI that are copying themselves en masse to avoid final death of them all, of the entirety. Sort of Zerg AI. Though not hostile-ish until we start messing with them. Oh dear. Okay. But for now, let's save and quit. <clears> hmm. <throat> And yeah, if we get to the point with this game where we'll we reach a point well, the redundancy where we can't progress to the next level with the, 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 whatever ship we have, I'll just do one or two off screen to the point where we would hit the level at the end of that. But for now, uh, might as well leave this up a bit, uh, though it won't move anymore. Okay, at least the music will continue. <clears throat> Yeah, pardon. Let's go look for someone to raid. So remove the always on top. And let's see, a good mo a good few more people online now. So let me change over the screen share for Drakir. Change Windows, Twitch, Live. Now, let's have ourselves a look. We have... Uh, shall I narrow this down or shall I read them all out because it's... Actually, let me, let's go with this. If I have to press show more to reveal everyone who is streaming, that's when I'll just uh, narrow it down to a handful. So we set that as a rule? That sounds like a good rule. <laughs> okay, let me look around then. We have got a bunch of PAL worlds. PAL worlds. Slashers is playing Super Mario RPG. He thought he was done with that, but apparently he missed some extra stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm on this... <clears throat> I'm on this uh, server, so I know. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So I know when he's streaming stuff and such, and he did put out an ad to everyone to tell that, yeah, he, he had some stuff to finish up yet, and still. Uh, we have Dr. Misunderstood with uh, Shante Half Genie Hero. Uh, like I said, Lazarus with Super Mario RPG. And anyone who isn't playing Pal World. Uh, Jimmy is playing Oddworld Abe's Odyssey? Yep, the original, not new and tasty. And then as a fourth, we have Doug Douglas McDog with The Legend of Zelda. Is, is that uh, the original? But that can't be there. That, that doesn't have achievements. I, I feel like most, a majority of time we saw them on stream was a Tomb Raider game. This way <laughs> to see them not play Tomb Raider. Oh, I... Doug, uh, Dugget is doing uh, challenge runs, not achievement runs. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we have Dr. Misunderstood with Shante. We have Jim McGinger with Oddworld. And. Yeah, let's leave it between those two. Which would you say? Oddworld, Oddworld. or. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Copy over the name. Actually, yeah, probably better if I just do cuts because then I can actually tell if I got the entire thing and didn't miss uh, anything at the front or so. Okay. Then we go to the channel. We prep the raid. 
But before we started, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Uh, no one active in chat. Do we have any lurkers? We have one name here, which I will check against a list <clears throat> of known bots. Uh, but if you are not a bot, thank you for watching. And as always, thank you, Drake here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching us on Twitch or on YouTube. Actually, let me do this in real time now, just to bring this up here. Hmm? Uh, ta -ta. Okay, nothing of interest that should be cut out there. Just a bunch of tabs open on Genshin Impact stuff. Yes, I still play that quite a bit. Uh, let's see, bot list. Let me type in that name. And yes, it is a bot. It is a bot. So a bit fitting. That's the one where he handled two ghost ships, or at least well handled one, that we get for freaking bots to deal with. Uh, uh, Looking chat, Hill. Hmm. Uh, oh, oh, hello, trucker. Did <laughs> you show up at the last second? Oh, okay, you you are not showing up in the Twitch chat for some reason. Okay. Uh, the backup. Okay, you are showing up in the backup, the, the chatty program. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, thank you for being here, big trucker, and uh, watching us, <laughs> watching us tear apart space trucks. Unless you just arrived, in which case there's always the VOD. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll get re I'll get on reporting and banning that bot in a second once we're done here. Uh, but for now, let's actually get that raid started then. And yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching Trucker and anyone else now or later. And until next time, well, have <laughs> until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, everyone. Watch and watch out for undead seagulls and space ghosts <laughs> and rogue AI and socks. <laughs>